Today, I traded uh, Disney. There's a concept called fear and greed. And this two concepts define how a trade is um, cultivated and <clears throat> ultimately executed. So today, if you look at this screen here, this is the chart for Disney. Um, what I normally do is dip and rip. And I purchased a call contract at this point. So that I climbed a little bit. And then I purchased the second one, which was probably uh, a good setup for what was about to unfold. <clears throat> As you are aware, there was some news about um, employment uh, uh, wage numbers and and that impacted how the, the stock would trade so when there's uh, two contracts that are involved and the trade moves against me there is a fear uh, and greed uh, simultaneously impacting my trade so at this point uh, a fear uh, entered into my mind because when i trade the only thing that i see is <clears throat> essentially this plot and it could be down further uh, based on how the market behaves or it could move up <clears throat> however based on the current trajectory uh, the momentum was to the downside so fortunately for me i exited it at this point for the first contract now that now the thing about uh day trading is that um the fear and greed causes certain points to to reflect uh the the overall sentiment of the market <clears throat> so at this point um um, the the maximum amount of fear took hold and so I exited at this point and once that occurs uh, as you can see from this plot uh, that the uh, Disney stock recovered to this point and most likely it'll recover just like a different replay so if I was patient I could have entered at this point I'm around this point at about uh, 12 o'clock noon time Eastern Standard Time and then could have taken advantage of this market condition even though this Disney stock was down for the day so fear and greed and <clears throat> the external forces that impacts your emotional stability determines how the trade will be executed during the day <clears throat> 